Kissy. set up here on this back fence and I had picked out a tree hoping they'd come straight up this open area that I brush hogged out but as soon as I got all set up and it got light enough they started hammering on the roost just across the neighbor's field there must be four or five in that area so I pulled all my stuff real quick and moved back here the footage probably isn't going to be great if I do get a chance but uh, we'll do the best that we can by myself and full disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm not a turkey hunter. I've only killed one turkey in my life and that was guided by one of my friends and he did all the heavy lifting. All I had to do was pull the trigger, so today I'm trying to get it done all by myself. We'll just see what happens. This is the best I've ever, best setup I've ever put myself on with this many turkeys in the area, so I'm gonna be quiet here, see if I can't get them Come on over. Pretty much all the activity has been straight out in front of me here. I don't know, there's a winter wheat field that's probably about maybe 8 to 10 inches tall. So I don't know if they'd come across that or if they would want to walk all the way around. I wish I was better at calling. I think if somebody in here knew what they'd do, they probably would have drew at least one of those stomps over here, so I just suck at it. Those are some different ones now. Sounded like a special turkey right there. Well, it's about 8.40. It's probably been about 45 minutes since the last time I heard a gobble. They've definitely went silent. Um, there had to be four or five, maybe even six total that were relatively close. I would say within... 200 to 300 yards at the most and uh, 
some closer. I think there was one that was probably 100 and I'm guessing it's probably about 125, 130 over to that timber over there. But I'm positive he was just right down there in the bottom. But uh, I feel like they may have all filtered off that way. I heard them, a couple of them. I thought maybe they were going to come up and around. Uh, but I haven't seen anything. All right, well, we're back at it again here today. Um, yesterday, I set up in the same spot. I had half a dozen toms within a couple hundred yards of me, just straight across this field in front of me. But so far this morning, I haven't heard any out of that area. Um, I've heard a couple coming from way across this field, straight across on Toby's, and then there's some over here, sounds like, on my neighbors. Um, kind of down just below me here, but they're probably several hundred yards away. Definitely quieter this morning over here than it was yesterday, so we'll just give it a little bit of time, see if somebody wakes up, heads this way. We'll see. Well, there's quite a few of them straight across this field on the neighbors. Um, that's a nice piece of timber over there and they just tend to hang out. That's actually where I killed my first turkey. Um, there's a couple down here, but they've only, they've only hammered a couple of times. So I don't, potentially, I don't think there's any chance I could get the turkey from over there to get all the way across over here. But these, potentially, I suppose I could. If I was hearing some straight across over here, I might try to make a move over in that direction, but I thought maybe early I heard one or two over there, but it's pretty been, it's been pretty silent since. We'll just have to see. I'm just not on my place. So they're either here or they're not. Small acreage. I can't control that, but we'll give it some time, see what happens. See if I start hearing them. a lot quieter this morning than they were yesterday. We had a little bit of overcast and fog. This morning it's nice, clear, and bright. They might have already pitched down earlier today. It was kind of funny. <clears throat> when we were coming home yesterday evening, I don't even know what time it was. Maybe seven. <laughs> I decided to drive down past the house because there had been a uh, there been a tom out in the field just next to my place, and uh, but he's only been out there like at 5:30. Actually, it was 6:30. That's now I remember now. But anyway, so there's a dirt slash gravel road that's a quarter mile from my property line that goes across. I just make a big loop sometimes, and. Uh, as we were driving just really straight across from the house about a quarter of a mile looked up in the tree and again this was like six a little after 6 30 and there was a turkey already roosted up in a tree in in a little draw timber there in that ag field so i thought that was awful strange unless a coyote or something busted it and it flew up into the tree but so i knew there was at least one up in that area but i couldn't tell if it was a hen or a tom. We've been having a hen that's just been hanging out in our field below me here right behind the house. It's pretty much been every day. In fact, yesterday my wife sent me a picture of or a video of that hen just eating in the eating in the field. Then when I walked out yesterday late morning uh, it was still out in the field and it took off running went back in the house was fiddling around half an hour later look out and she was right back out there it's kind of odd that there aren't any uh, any toms after her but she's been there a week
I haven't heard a peep for probably close to an hour now. I've heard one shot and I uh, just was looking at Facebook and saw it was my friend Toby uh, shot a huge Tom. I mean, just a ridiculous beard, big long spurs. So, congrats to him. I, that's what I told you earlier. I said they're all over there. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I knew it. There's a couple that I heard over here. I haven't heard a peep out of them. Well, about 20 minutes ago, I was just sitting here and there was a doe that got to probably within. I don't know, 10 yards of me here and then got my wind and busted. But so far, that's about all I've seen. Alright, well, I just heard the first gobble probably in an hour and a half at least. And it was, it was probably somewhere around um, my corner, but up a ways, so still pretty good distance away from me maybe 200 200 yards or so um, but if they're coming down through here and, and they happen to see through this opening then maybe we get lucky Toby messaged me and told me that uh, after he shot his turkey the there were two other toms and they both come running my direction so it's it's possible that that turkey that I just heard was one of them because there was nothing that sounded off this morning over in that area so I guess we'll just have to sit tight and see what happens here at a low water crossing it worked pretty good for a year but not anymore there's all my rock over there oh well I tried all right well That'll about wrap it up for this weekend's turkey season, for this weekend's turkey hunt. Uh, saw that one hen, um, a couple doe. Friend Toby shot his turkey over there. I heard one gobble pretty late, but just uh, never made it over my way, I guess. Anyway. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to hunt next weekend. Probably not, it just depends. Reagan's got a softball tournament, so I'll probably be, probably be off next weekend. Um, won't be able to hunt, but I've been thinking about taking a vacation day, but if I had somebody to go with me that knew what they were doing a little bit better than I do, then uh, I'd do that. But currently, I don't, so no big deal. Gave it a shot at least. One of these days, I'll get one to come in to me. My place just doesn't hold them. I don't know. And I know I go punt other places, but I just really like that on my place. And uh, I'd love to be able to take one off of here. But they tend to hold up in some of the other areas around me. Must be a little better habitat for them. heading up here to the house I'm gonna maybe get some work done today I was gonna do it yesterday and then got sidetracked because I had to go take photos for um, set Reagan's second prom of the year so but I don't have anything going on today so I need to get some diesel um, I might head over and try and pull some of those small trees and stumps from the 
area I was just hunting in earlier and uh, try to get that ready so that I can get some clover planted in it. I'll probably, not sure what I'll put in it, but I'll probably end up putting some sort of plot that will give me a fall, fall plot that has clover in it. And so it'll give it a good start for clover next year. Then I can come in and frost seed um, early in, or late winter some more clover into it so we can get a good stand of clover back there. I still intend on getting some fruit trees back there, but that may have to wait till next year. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, almost back to the house. So we'll let you go for now. Catch you in the next one. It's not actually turkey time. Um, that ends at one o'clock. I just got home from work and I've got a tom out here in full strut over in the neighbor's cornfield. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a sneak on him, see if I can get some video footage. Let's go get him. <laughs> 